Hi, this is Tim with RC Noob. Today we're going to take a look at some lighting upgrades that I've made to my Axial uh, SCX10. Uh, real quick backstory, I picked this up, the SCX10, almost a year ago. I'm coming up on my one year anniversary with, uh, anniversary with this uh, vehicle. Um, it is by far my favorite RC vehicle that I've owned. Um, and I haven't, I haven't owned too many of them, but I've owned, you know, quite a few. Um, and this is by far my favorite, just because I've been able to do quite a bit with it. Um, it's my first true, I guess, scalar uh, crawling rig, um, and I've just, I've really had a good time making it my own. It is the RTR version. It looks quite a bit different now than it did a year ago. Um, I've made you know, quite a few cosmetic updates to it. Um, I think the first upgrade that I did was the um, steering linkage, uh, making that aluminum or getting aluminum links for that. Um, I did lower aluminum links that I had made myself last winter, and uh, lately I've been focusing on lighting. So that's what we're going to talk about today is lighting. Uh, the cool thing about scale rigs is you can make them as trick as you want them to be and as close to one-to-one -one scale as as pretty much humanly possible which is really cool um, and I've become addicted to lighting hopefully I haven't gone overboard with it I think I've hit a point where I've, I'm good if I, if I add any more lights I think I would end up going overboard um, but really the first lights that I added to this vehicle are the ones that you know are easily mounted into the bumper I did the front and rears We'll turn this on in a few minutes uh, to show you what it looks like all lit up. And then after I did those lights, I went with a five a five uh, light bucket, kind of the old school Jeep uh, light bucket, and I had that mounted um, up on this top bar. And I ran that for most of the summer and liked it quite a bit. The um, the light buckets that I picked up, I got from AsiaTees.com, and they were not that expensive. I believe they were maybe five dollars. They were under ten for sure. Uh, they came with lights. They came with a five bucket, four bucket uh, light set, so you can kind of do whatever you want um, with it. So, like I said, I ran that for about a year. My son has the same light system. We hooked him up. Um, with this on his Red Cat RS10, which we'll do a, a deep dive on over the winter uh, because that looks nothing like a Red Cat any longer. Um, but he's got that on his, and we've added some cool police lights and some flashing red and blue lights to that. Um, but the more I looked at mine and the more I have been seeing these, I guess, lower profile flat LED light bars, I made the decision to make that change to my own machine. So that that has been my most recent addition. Uh, shortly before that, like maybe a week before that, I added um, these lights to the bumper. And these light buckets are from Axial, and and so are, or so is, pardon me, the this top bar, as well as this back bar and I've got the part numbers for you. See these these front buckets and also the side markers are part of Axial's um, their light bucket set, the black set. It's part number AX80045. You can pick that up uh, through Axial.com, through Amazon.com. You know, any hobby shop that carries Axial parts would either have it in stock or be able to get it for you. Um, it ran me, I believe, around twenty dollars. But we, you know, with that, you get lenses, you get uh, an ample amount of of light buckets, and you know, we had enough light buckets for not only myself and my rig, but for my son's rig as well. So when we do the deep dive on his, I'll show off some of what we added to his vehicle as well. And the part number for the, I believe just recently released because I haven't seen it, had not seen this light uh, bar kit earlier in the summer. I believe this came out maybe September, early October. 
Um, this bar is part of the AX31152, and that is the axial LED, um, the really, uh, pardon me, the universal rigid light bar set. Um, and with that, you get this longer eight LED. There's eight LEDs in here, very bright. Uh, you get that bar, you get a shorter eight LED bar, you get that smaller bar that I've mounted on the back, and you also get these lights up front, and you get a, a variety of mounting brackets as well. And you get the lenses, and you get all of that for a little, around $30, you know, give or take, depending on where you get it from. Again, you can get it from Axial, you can get it from Amazon, uh, you can get it from your hobby shop. Um, now, as you see, I do have a rat's nest of wires that I'm still dealing with yet um, and need to clean those up. Um, but outside of that, you know, that's, I, I think I've hit my limit for, for um, lights on this rig. Now, just real quick before we turn everything on, I've got an even bigger mess under the, under the body here. So I picked up a container. I'm going to wrap these wires up front and put them somewhere so they're nice and contained. As you see, I've got the um, side markers. You can't see that. Sorry about that. You get the side markers um, into the body itself. And I've got the light control system here. I'm actually running that up through a control switch that comes up um, around the center console of the interior of the Jeep. And show that right there, so I can control it from a push button. I don't have a three-channel radio, so right now I've got everything kind of set up for manual setup. Um, eventually, I think I'll get to a three-channel system so I can control all the lights remotely. But for now, it does the trick, and it does the trick very well. So let's give you an idea of what this thing looks like when it's all lit up. I'm still working on the placement of the and the setup of the lights. But I've got them set up to blink and flash. So that's one mode. I believe there are four modes to this. So it's just, it's fun to uh, have lighting on a, on a vehicle like this. So I can take it outside at night. I've had it out um, a little bit over the summer, lit up, and it really made a big difference in where I could drive and how late at night I could drive. And while we're at it, we'll plug these in as well. Okay. Now I do have this top bar right, ooh, right now powered by just a 9-volt battery and it's running off of external power. Everything else is running off the uh, battery for the Jeep itself. Turn it around, see what the back end looks like. Just cool. You know, it's fun. I, I drive it around inside, outside. My Now that my son has his rig with lights on it as well, I'm sure we'll get uh, a little more outside use out of these vehicles. So that's it. I mean, kind of a, a real quick overview of my lighting upgrades to my Axial SCX-10. Um, and before we wrap this video up, I'm just going to shut the lights off to give you a little bit better idea of how bright these lights are. Again, they do an ample job. Pardon the brightness. They do an ample job of lighting up the path Side marker lights are cool. And then your tail lights. It's been a very fun project to work on. Uh, there have been fun upgrades to make. 
Um, again, now I'm, I'm left with the mess to deal with with all these wires. I believe I'm going to uh, just either tape or secure these to the, uh, to the roll bar to try to clean things up a little bit there. Like I said, I bought a container that I'm going to run all the other wiring through and keep that contained underneath. Um, and after that's all set up, I should have a pretty clean setup. So I'm looking forward to getting that taken care of, hopefully in the next week or two. I might not get to it until next year, to be honest. But um, I think after that, the next thing I need to do on this is get everything waterproof, get my electronics waterproof so I can get it outside and uh, really have some fun this winter. Now, before I do wrap this up, I do want to talk about the mounting of this um, top bar. It actually mounts very easily. There is an existing screw that goes through the uh, the windshield brace into the roll bar, so you just pull that out and put that through this brace. But there is an additional screw that you need to run through. There's already a hole drilled into the roll bar for that screw, but then you need to put a uh, body reamer or a small drill hole into uh, the windshield brace to secure that. Um, I, I had okay luck with it on one side. I got a little bit off off balance and I don't have a I don't know what the, the best term for this is. It's more of a C-shape than an actual round hole, uh, but it does the trick, and it's secure, and it you know it, I tightened it down enough where it's not going to move. Um, these lights up here, I thought it, initially I was going to have to drill holes into the hood um, or ream holes in the hood, and that's not the case. They're actually mounted to this bracket that is running right here. So again, this is all one piece, this side part. So you mount that on each side, then you mount your light bar, then you mount these. These lights I have running through here, and I did a body ream hole just above the navigation, the air quotes, navigation uh, inside the vehicle. There you can see a little bit better shot of that. So again, I've got those wires to clean up as well. Again, for that, I think I'm just going to run some black tape across the inside to hide those a little bit. Um, and that should clean up quite nicely. So it's been, a, like I said, fun project. Um, it doesn't pr improve performance necessarily, but it's just it's a fun thing when you've got a scale rig. You want to trick it out as much as you can. Um, and I think I've got mine pretty, pretty well set. The only thing I have not done yet is, well, yet, and I'm probably won't do this to this body, would be putting LEDs into the actual headlight and uh, parking light areas. Um, I'm not feeling courageous enough or com comfortable enough, I guess, to uh, take that on with this body. I may pick up another body some point down the, down the line and have a little more experimentation with that. So, again, if you're interested in those uh, part numbers, I will put them into the description. And uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you can do to add some LED lighting to your scale rig. So for more videos like this, please check out rcnoob.com. Uh, we're posting not only videos, but the podcast will hopefully resume soon. Um, we do reviews of products. We do uh, news, pretty much anything to get people into the hobby is what we focus on. So definitely check that out. You can find it at rcnoob.com. Thank you again for watching this video and have fun with the hobby.